Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to fix wild grid, crashing, freezing, not launching, black screen or stuck on loading screen on PC. So let's follow the solutions. First solution is to modify the game launch option. Open Steam and go to library, right click on wild grid game and select properties. In the launch options, type minus DX11 and close the tab. Now launch the game and check if it solves your issue or not. If not then remove minus DX11 and then type minus DX12 in launch option and then check. If it's still not working then remove the command from the launch option and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Second solution is to turn off antivirus or close Ace base. Simply turn off your antivirus software while playing the game. Once you are done with playing the game, then turn on your antivirus back. If you do not want to turn off your antivirus program, then simply add exception to antivirus for the game install folder or simply close ASBase before starting the game and then check. ASBase refers to the anti-cheat expert. I hope this helps. Third solution is to disconnect VPN. If you are connected to any kind of VPN or proxy, then turn it off and then launch the game and check. Fourth solution is to delete the game plugin folder. Please note keep backup of the plugin folder to desktop first. So here how to delete the game plugin folder. Open Steam, go to library, right click on wildgate game and click on manage browse local files. It will open the game installation folder. The path is C program files x86 steam steam apps common wildgate folder. Open the nobila folder, right click on plugins folder and delete it. Now launch the game and check. First solution is to simply update graphic card driver. Type device manager in window search and open it. Expand display adapter. Right click on your graphic card and select update driver. Then click on search automatically for driver or perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. If you are NVIDIA user then go to NVIDIA official website. AMD user then go to AMD official site. I am showing the example of NVIDIA driver. Here select your graphic card models and then click on find. Click on view. Then click on download. Once it is downloaded, then run the executable files and perform a clean installation of your driver. Link for installing the drivers is given in video description. And then launch the game and check. Six solution is to run wildgate game as an admin. To do so, open Steam, right click on wildgate game. This is just an example. Click on manage, browse local files. This is the path of the wildgate folder. See program files, x86, steam, steam apps, common wildgate folder. Now you will see Inobila folder, open that, then binaries, win64 folder. And then right click on Nebula client Win64 shipping exe file and select properties. Then go to compatibility tab and tick mark run this program as an administrator. Then click on apply ok. Now launch the game from the installation folder and then check. Seven solution is to modify the compatibility setting of wildgrid game. To do so right click on Nebula client Win64 shipping exe file. This is just an example. Go to compatibility tab. Run this program in compatible mode for check this box. Select Windows 8. Hit apply. OK. Then launch the game from the installation folder and check. If that also doesn't work, then you can select Windows 7. Hit apply. OK. Then launch the game and check. If that also doesn't work, then you can check mark disable full screen optimization option. Hit apply. OK. Then launch the game and check. If you still your problem is not solved, then untick all these boxes, hit apply, ok and then follow the other fixes mentioned in this video. Its solution is to allow wildgate through firewall or antivirus program. To allow the game through firewall, here follow the steps. Search for windows security in windows search and open it. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down and click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. 
Now browse to C drive, program files, x86, steam, steam apps, common, while git, nebula, binaries, win64 folder. Select nebula client win64 shipping exe file and click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps and browse to C program files, steam, steam apps, common, while git folder. Select nebula launcher exe file and click open to add it to the list. Next in Windows search type Windows security and click on it. Click on firewall and network protection and then click on allow an app through firewall. Click on change setting and then click on allow another app and then click on browse. Now browse to the game installation folder that is C drive program files f 86 steam steam apps common while get nebula binaries win64 folder. Select nebula client win64 shipping exe file and add it. After adding it, make sure both private and public is tick marked. Similarly, allow the Nebula Launcher exe file also. Click on allow another app, browse and browse to C drive program file s86 steam steam app common while get folder. Select Nebula Launcher exe file and add it. After adding it, make sure both private and public is tick marked. Click OK to save changes. And also allow the while get through antivirus program or disable it for a while. Don't ignore this part. Now launch the game and check. Ninth solution is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. To do so, in Windows search type graphic settings and open it. Click on add desktop app and browse to game installation folder. Select nebula client win64 shipping exe file and click on add. After adding it, expand it. Click on, click on drop down next to GPU preference and select high performance. Then launch the game and check. Ten solution is to verify game files. To do so, this is just an example. Right click on Wildgit game, select properties, go to install files, then click on verify integrity of game files. Then launch the game and check. Eleven solution is to install Visual C++ files. Go to this website. It is a Microsoft official website. Download and install both x86 and x64 Visual C++ files and install it on your PC. Then restart your PC and then launch the game and see if it solves your issue or not. Twelfth solution is to disable overlays. Disable Steam overlay. Go to your Steam library. Right click on while get properties. Then turn off. Enable the Steam overlay while in game. Disable Nvidia overlay. Open Nvidia GeForce Experience setting general. Then turn off in game overlays. Similarly, disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as G4 Experience, Nvidia Shadow Play overlay, AMD overlay, and then launch the game and check. 13th solution is to update Windows. So click on Windows icon, then click on settings. On the left, click on Windows update, and then click on check for updates. And if any update is available, then download and install them. Then restart your PC and then launch the game and check. 14th solution is to uninstall and reinstall Wildgit. If nothing seems to work, then simply uninstall Wildgit game from your PC. Restart your PC, reinstall the game. You can install in SSD or another drive and then check. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.